Welcome to Art Explained, the home of art, art history, stories, and art education for all who are interested. Today, we are going to talk about Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452, and lived till May 2, 1519. Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian polymath of the High Renaissance who was active as a painter, draftsman, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, and architect. While his fame initially rested on his achievements as a painter, he also became known for his notebooks, in which he made drawings and notes on a variety of subjects including anatomy, astronomy, botany, cartography, painting, and paleontology. Leonardo is widely regarded to have been a genius who epitomized the Renaissance humanist ideal. His collective works compose a contribution to later generations of artists, matched only by that of his younger contemporary, Michelangelo. His mother, Caterina, was not married to Leonardo's father at the time Leonardo was born. Ser Piero di Antonio di Ser Piero di Ser Guido da Vinci, Leonardo's father, was a Florentine legal notary, a highly regarded career at the time. Leonardo was educated in Florence by the Italian painter and sculptor Andrea del Verrocchio. He began his career in Florence, but later spent much of his time in the service of Ludovico Sforza in Milan. Later he worked in Florence and Milan again, as well as briefly in Rome, all the while attracting a large following of imitators and students. Upon the invitation of King Francis I, he spent his last three years in France and died there in 1519. Leonardo is identified as one of the greatest painters in the history of art and is often credited as being the founder of the High Renaissance. Despite having many lost works and less than 25 attributed major works, including numerous unfinished works, he created some of the most influential paintings in Western art. His magnum opus, The Mona Lisa, is his best-known work and often regarded as the world's most famous painting. The Last Supper is the most reproduced religious painting of all time. And his Vitruvian Man drawing is also regarded as a cultural icon. In 2017, Salvatore Monday attributed in whole or part to Leonardo, was sold at an auction for 450.3 million U.S. dollars, setting a new record for the most expensive painting ever sold at public auction. Many believe Leonardo da Vinci, a true polymath, to be one of the greatest artists and painters ever to live, and this is probably true. But Leonardo da Vinci was so much more than just one of the greatest artists. He was an architect. A scientist. an astronomer, (music) 
cartographer, an engineer, a botanist, a geologist, a hydrodynamicist, a mathematician, a musician, an inventor, and much more. Leonardo was a pioneer in so many different areas and he was indeed a genius. Leonardo only received a basic and informal education in writing, reading, and mathematics. Possibly because his artistic talents were recognized early on, so his family decided to focus their attention on his art. Later in life, Leonardo recorded his earliest memory. While writing on the flight of birds, he recalled as an infant, when a kite came to his cradle and opened its mouth with its tail. Commentators still debate whether the antidote was an actual memory or a fantasy. In the mid-1460s, Leonardo's family moved to Florence which at the time was the center of Christian humanist thought and culture. Around the age of 14, he became a garzon, in other words, a studio boy, in the workshop of Andrea del Verrocchio, who was the leading Florentine painter and sculptor of his time. This was about the time of the death of Verrocchio's master, the great sculptor Donatello. Leonardo became an apprentice by the age of 17 and remained in training for seven years. Other famous painters apprenticed in the workshop or associated with it include Ghirlandaio, Perugino, Botticelli, and Lorenzo di Credi. Leonardo was exposed to both theoretical training and a wide range of technical skills, including drafting, chemistry, metallurgy, metalworking, plaster casting, leatherworking, mechanics, and woodwork, as well as the artistic skills of drawing, painting, sculpting, and modeling. Leonardo was a contemporary of Botticelli, Ghirlandaio, and Perugino, who were all slightly older than he was. By 1472, at the age of 20, Leonardo qualified as a master in the Guild of St. Luke, the Guild of Artists and Doctors of Medicine. Even after his father set him up in his own workshop, Leonardo's attachment to Verrocchio was such that he continued to collaborate and live with him. Leonardo da Vinci, who lived during the High Renaissance, changed the world in a huge way. Since his death, there has not been a time where his achievements, diverse interests, personal life, and empirical thinking have failed to incite interest and admiration. 
making him a frequent namesake and subject in culture. We hope you have enjoyed watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by selecting the subscribe button below. Please give us a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share the video on your preferred social media service. We are super excited about you watching our video and look forward to your continued support. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.